Hello, 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 this is Walking Will, and today I have a video about Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Now, this game was released, obviously, the original, before any fucking internet stuff came out, or any YouTube videos. Maybe YouTube videos were out, but not stuff like this. So you probably all know about this already, but um, I've been playing it for seven hours now. Uh, it came out like yesterday, day before yesterday. Um, and I've been farming quite a bit, so I'm level 20 at uh, level 19 at this point. The Lishu mines when you fly over with Baltier and or ba Baltier. Yes, Baltier and Fran and all them in the airship. Um, and you get to this bridge, which looks a bit ominous, conspicuous. Uh, and you have to cross it, obviously. The natural call, natural route is to go down right, but which I did, firstly. And then I came up here, and I remembered a long, long time ago when I played this before. This bridge had an interesting uh, feature to it. So, let's start walking. Oh look, it's a skeleton, and another one, and another one. And as you can see, I have a 196 chain. It's sad, but yeah. So we kill these three. Oh, another one appears. And another one. Now let's speed things up with the uh, Zodiac Age speed booster and see what we can do. They just keep coming. They keep coming. 206. And I'm already on like the gold level 4 rated rewards, so you just go up and down the bridge a few times. They'll keep respawning. Back and forward. Just level up again, someone level up again. Get some nice items, plenty of iron helmets, plenty of uh, bone fragments and dark stones or dark crystals, wherever they are. So you make, make good money. You could actually add... Ooh, haste. Um, you can actually add a character who has um, steel as well if you want to overkill it, like if I do this. So I'm going to drop Fran, not obviously. Drop Fran, bring in Belt here. And I have Belt here set to uh, steel. 20 gil. Bone fragment. So he steals from the closest target. I just basically use him as a stealer because he's kind of shitty in this. Um, I don't really like the uh, restricted license system. I don't know if, if people preferred the uh, Zodiac job system version better. I don't. I like the uh, openness of the license system because you still make your character how you want to make him. But it gives you the freedom to change your mind as you're going along. This you have to make a set decision and to be honest the license boards themselves are very flat in my opinion um but i won't complain i'm enjoying it so far it, it doesn't bring back as much nostalgia as i wished it would because of primarily the license board system which i, I loved um but the game itself is it still runs really well and this speed okay i'll get back to that but uh yeah the part now you turn off your gambits because i've got gambits that sent me to auto target enemies um i think i can leave palatiers one on and you go back this way but yeah, as I was saying, the license board system in the original was was solid. Really, really good. Um, again, a lot of people disagree with me, but I think that that... See, yeah, you, you go back these two areas, because obviously enemies respawn if you go back two areas. Um, but yeah, it, it's something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, I basically, I know that some people play Bash as an archer or whatever, but I remember the original game, obviously. Fran was an archer, Baltier was a machinist bash was a, a knight or a shikari whichever someone with a sword um and that's how i played Penelo was a white mage but i'm not going to build her like that because that's horrendous so i'm leaving fran as the white mage and i'm going to use van uh Penelo and ash as my main parody so let's leave out the these guys that i'm basically playing with right now um but yeah you come through these two areas again turn back on your gambits and then, just start running, again. So I'm still stealing shit. Still killing shit. 236. Easy. 
Level up again. And you can grab this chest. This chest typically respawns every time. And again, I know this has been done before. I've done this myself plenty of times. Um, in the past, a long, long time ago, when, when this game was originally out. But with the power of YouTube, and hopefully if someone hasn't found this yet, um, currently or hasn't done a video on it, and I'll upload it, and it'll allow you to get a lot of license points, a lot of early XP, because to be honest, the XP I'm getting now hasn't dropped, as you know, when you start getting further in the game uh, with higher levels, enemies' XP sort of scales heavily, so like if I'm killing wolves now, it gives me 3 XP. These guys still give me upwards in the hundred, uh, upwards of the 90s, uh, which is still a substantial amount of XP. And I'm not going to ruin the game for myself and just stand here all day long, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've maxed out my <laughs> holding of uh, bone fragments and dark stones at the moment. But yeah, um, just keep doing this over and over, and you will pretty much, yeah. So they're all cleared again. Uh, I'll, I'll go through it quickly again um, one last time. Just to sort of show you how easy it is to, to switch between the two. Now I have the four speed on, I suggest, if you've got a strong enough parity that can sustain itself. I do have heals and emergencies uh, in certain characters with the gambit set up. Just in case it goes horribly wrong, which it hasn't yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make some more videos if I find any more cool spots like this. Uh, much quicker than this. This is probably gone on a bit longer than I expected. But yeah, so you turn off your gamb gambits. I forgot Belt here only targets the uh, someone who's I'm, I'm attacking already, so he won't actually steal from someone automatically walking past them. So you go back down here. So yeah, again, this is this area is unlocked when you obviously when you first meet Lamont, um, and when you first take your your trip on the uh, on the airship. And uh, it's quite soon, basically, after you get in. So the entrance is here in Bajurba. You go up that area, come through here, and this bridge just, this beautiful bridge just appears. And you get to basically farm. So that was quite quick that time. Um, back in action. And let's see if I can get to 300 this time. So yeah, as I said, enjoying it. I would have recommended the older version as always, I, I always did, I loved it, um, it was one of my favorite Final Fantasies. Um, I'm not your classic, I love 7, oh 7 is the best, because uh, in my opinion it really wasn't. I actually preferred 8 to 7, and I preferred this, this is one of my favorite. Um, doesn't beat 10, I think 10 is my absolute favorite, uh, in terms of, you know, the progression and the story because progression to me in Final Fantasy is huge and in 7 it was lacking in progression 8, yeah progression was there definitely um, and it also had the um, infamous uh, card game Triple Triad which was that was sick but again 10 beat the mini game there we go 300 10 definitely beat the mini game uh, I don't know, I got the minigame award for Blitzball, 100%, because Blitzball in 10 was, it was basically like having FIFA without the boredom in an RPG form, and it was just brilliant. But yeah, we're just going to clear up the last few enemies, 308, and I'm going to move on from here because I'm getting, it does get boring, but it's quite quick, it can happen quite quick. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps anyone early on in the game, I know there's probably... I don't know about better farming spots, but definitely easier earlier on ones before you even meet Bash. Um, in the mines, you can run through the mines uh, when you're after going to prison, up and down, but I find this to be the, so far, the quickest method of getting chain kills anyway. So, anyway, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be doing more, unless you absolutely fucking hate these, to which I respond, fuck you. I'm still going to do more videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.